All right, one last example. Now, what do you need to do if you need to find the velocity of an object? Well, we need to start back from our equation for momentum because over here we've got velocity on the bottom and a lot of people are gonna see that as difficult to start with. But over there, velocity is not on the bottom of a fraction and it's just being multiplied by momentum. And so all we have to do is divide by, I'm sorry, it's being multiplied by mass. Ugh, having two M things, it makes it hard to work with. We gotta get that M away. <laughs> so we're gonna divide by the M. Uh, so we should have P on top and M on the bottom, which is exactly what's under this purple blob right here. So velocity is going to be P divided by M. Remember, P is for momentum, M is for mass. So that's what we're gonna be doing to find the velocity. This question says, calculate the velocity of a 5.5 kilogram bowling ball that has a momentum of plus 38.2 kilogram meters per second. Again, there it is with that direction right here. That plus is the direction. Velocity has direction, so this answer is going to have to have a direction on it, so make sure you include a direction when you need to, okay? So, um, so I got to write down my formula without anything in it. That's a whole point right there, okay? Don't forget your whole point right there. Oops, it looks like I didn't write some whole points over here, too. So we got a point for writing our work, and we get a point for this here. Um, the directions, there's no direction on the mass problem, um, but there is definitely direction on the velocity and also on the momentum problem. So you got to make sure you include those there. Oh, I think I'm remembering how this works now. Okay, back to the problem. So I'm going to be dividing the momentum, which is the plus 38.2, by the mass, which is the 5.5. So I've got to write down that that's what I'm going to plug into my calculator. Okay, now I'm not adding anything. It's that plus is just the direction here. So let me highlight that. It's just the direction. So I don't have to add anything first. I'm just putting it there as the direction. Um, so in my calculator, I'm just going to type in 38.2 divided by 5.5. And then that's not going to be a pretty number. It's probably going to have a bunch of numbers after a decimal. So I'm going to round uh, and I'm going to write my answer down. And I'm going to keep that positive there because that positive is the direction. Okay. So when Mrs. Gassler is grading your test... Uh, or your checkpoint or she's looking at your stuff, she's going to look for the number and the unit on your answer and she's going to look for the direction there too. Um, if you had one of each of these kind of problems, like find the momentum, a find the mass, and a find the velocity, it's probably going to be worth 10 points altogether. Uh, and this last extra 10th point, even though there's three steps to each of these, is probably going to be for the directions um, because that's the only thing left. And I can't write very well on this iPad with my finger. <laughs> that's okay. Whoops, the T. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that's what you're going to be looking for. Okay. Now, these are math problems. If you, you have lots of practice in your practice sheet. So if you have any questions while you're working, make sure you ask for help. Thanks for watching.